Hello, in this video I'm going to introduce you to the natural logarithm and I'm going to do that through three worked examples and I'll timestamp each example below. Now if this is the first time you've ever seen logarithms, I'll leave a link to my playlist on exponentials and logarithms below and I'd recommend going to watch my introduction to logarithms video because I'm going to assume you kind of have an idea of what a basic logarithm is to a specific base first. If this video is useful then please do go over to my channel where I have loads of other maths tutorials. So the way I'm going to introduce you to the natural logarithm is through this question here where we've got this exponential equation, so e to the power of x equals 3, and we're going to solve it. And the way we're going to solve this is by taking logarithms of both sides. Now, you could choose to do logarithms base 10, base 2, it doesn't really matter, you're going to end up with the same answer. I'm going to choose logarithms base e, Okay, and you'll see why in a second. So let's do log base e of both sides and we get the following equation. Now from here, okay, from the cancellation principles of logarithms, looking at the left hand side, you might notice that this is just equal to x because we're saying, well, what do I put to the power of e to give me an answer of e to the power of x? Well, that's just x. Uh, and if you're not too sure about that, another way you could think about this is by saying, well, let's bring that x down to the front of the logarithm and we get x multiplied by log base e of e, and that equals log base e of 3. And if we take a look at this logarithm here, that's just going to be 1, because we're saying, well, e to the power of what gives me an answer of e? Well, it's just e to the power of 1, okay? And so this turns to 1, and so I get x is equal to log base e of 3. Now, if you've watched my last video where we looked at the properties of e to the power of x, the exponential function, then you'll remember that it's really, really useful because of the fact that it's its own derivative. And so that means we're going to be using this function all of the time when we're modeling, say, exponential growth or exponential decay and things like that. It's just going to pop up all of the time in mathematics because of these important properties that it has. And so because of this, you're going to be dealing with equations that look like this all of the time. And so you're going to be using log base e a lot. In fact, you're going to be using it so much that there's a shorter way to write it. So we could write log base e of x, okay? But in maths, we generally will tend to write that as this, ln of x. And this is the natural logarithm, okay? So you could read it as ln x, the natural logarithm of x, or ln x, doesn't really matter. But that just means we're doing a logarithm base e, okay? So to get familiar with this notation, let's look at a couple of other examples. So here we have another equation to solve. So 4 is equal to e to the power of 1 minus 3x. And so to solve this, I'm going to take natural logarithms of both sides. And so I get ln 4 is equal to ln e to the power of 1 minus 3x. Let's then use our power rule to bring the power down to the front of the logarithm. And I get ln 4 is equal to... 1 minus 3x multiplied by ln e. And what is the natural log of e? Well, that's saying e to what power gives me an answer of e? Well, that just goes to 1. And so I get ln 4 is equal to 1 minus 3x. I'm then going to add 3x to both sides of this equation and subtract the natural log of 4 from both sides of this equation. Okay, and so I'm going to get 3x is equal to 1 minus the natural log of 4. And finally, I'm going to divide both sides by 3, and I get a solution of x, which is equal to 1 minus the natural log of 4, all divided by 3. And I could leave it in an exact form like this, or I could type that into my calculator, and there's a button on your calculator for this natural logarithm, ln, and I'll put a picture on screen of what that looks like, but on mine I press shift and the logarithm button, it comes up, and this gives me an answer of x equaling negative 0.129, let's say to three significant figures. Now, let's look at one final question here, uh, and this is kind of just to show that the laws of logarithms work just the same if we're using a natural logarithm. So here we're asked to solve the equation, the natural log of x equals four minus the natural log of x. So the first thing I'm gonna do is add ln x to both sides, uh, and this is going to give me the natural log of x plus the natural log of x equals 4. 
Now I've got two logarithms, I'm summing them together and they've got the same base which means I can use the product rule and multiply their arguments. And so I get the natural log of x squared equals 4. Then I'm going to rewrite this now in an exponential form because all this equation is saying is well e to the power of 4 equals x squared so let's rewrite that and I get x squared is equal to e to the power of 4. I'm then going to square root both sides to make you know just x the subject and I get x is equal to plus or minus the square root of e to the power of 4. And actually we could rewrite this as x equals plus or minus e to the power of 4 all to the power of a half and if I multiply those powers together I get x is equal to plus or minus e squared and that's going to give me solutions of x being e squared or x equals minus e squared. Now can I use both of these solutions? Well let's check. So if I have x equaling e squared and I chuck that into the argument of my logarithms well that's fine that's going to work. If however I put negative e squared into my logarithms well then I'd have a negative argument which we can't have. You, know, you can't put a negative number inside of a logarithm and so I reject this solution and I just use x equals e squared. So hopefully this video was useful. If it was, do go over to my channel where I have tons of other maths tutorials. And thanks for watching.